Meanwhile, the city of Colville has started to move its homeless population to a designated location. Cram 2's Nathan Hyun traveled to Colville today to see what that move has been like. People have been living here at this homeless encampment on North Railroad Street for over a year. Now, the city of Colville is moving them to a new location. This new site by Lewis Paris Road has 25 spots and has been in the works for the last three months. Barbara Barbie has been homeless for the past three years. And like 30 other people, she found an empty field to park her trailer in just last winter. It's not some place that any, none of us want to be here. Barbara thought her life couldn't get any worse when only a couple of days ago, she got a notice that she would be forced to leave the field she lives on. Them only giving us two days notice that we're, we're going to leave or we're going to be arrested and our stuff impounded and, and then we lose everything we own because who's got the money to get it out, you know? Nobody. The city told Barbara that they can now cite people for illegal camping because they have a place where homeless people can stay. Back in July, Stevens County awarded Colville $125,000 to address the homeless situation. The city used the money to purchase an empty lot and to clean and put a fence around it. I think they're rude um, and considerate. They are self-centered. They are impatient. The mayor of Colville says the new location is meant to give people a better living situation. He also wants to find service providers to help with employment and living options. This is inhumane. As you can see right here, it's not a good spot for them to live and it doesn't do anything for the people who are already living here. Um, essentially an unregulated set settlement. The new location is meant to give people a safe space to stay with clean water and porta potties. Michael Bales was one of the first people to move to the new location. It's, um, it's a spot where the cops can't mess with me. I can I, I, I keep to myself and um, I, I'll share no problems. I'm homeless, so it's better than nothing. The mayor says the new location is not meant to be permanent. One of the rules says that people can only stay at the location for three weeks and must vacate their lot space for a minimum of five days before coming back. The mayor wants to encourage people to move into this new space. He also hopes that this will limit the amount of people on the streets. In Colville, Nathan Hun, Crime 2 News.